Check this out. Check. Disregarding ocean boundaries, testing microchips. The Chinese government released a map. It's convincing depictions of individuals doing or saying things that they never did. Deep fakes. Deep fakes. What is even real? Lee Harvey Oswald. The whole thing was actually a setup. I'm just a patsy. Patsy, which is like an old timey term for like the fall guy, the, the one who was set up by the leaders around him. Let's do this. Our service members have encountered unidentified aerial phenomena. On unidentified aerial phenomena. UAP, baby. We're exiting a period of incredible growth. Look at this graph. But if you have a thousand of these switches, suddenly you have something that kind of resembles a little brain. There's actually not a ton of nuance here. But they would be in something very interesting. A quiet revolution stirs. The Berlin Wall has fallen. Yeah! <laughs> Action And I don't understand why, and I want to understand why. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Check this out. Microchips. It conducts electricity really well. It is a semiconductor of electricity. In the heart of Ukraine, a quiet revolution stirs. The creation of new tools of war, built by volunteers and students and technicians. Tinkerers who are repurposing their skills to resist invasion. And guess what? This happened. The U.S. does not currently have the ability to even track this weapon, much less defeat it. A Chinese spy balloon drifting across North America. These two Navy pilots arrive to the scene. The Navy report describes this object as, quote, an elongated egg or a tic-tac that was uniformly white across the entire body. It was approximately 46 feet in length. One of the pilots with his weapons officer in the back wanted to get a closer look. It's actually just another quirk of the image sensors that they use in the military on these specialized cameras. It's the second biggest bank collapse in U.S. history. The bank is called the Silicon Valley Bank. So now the baker with his new loan goes and buys his oven for $9,000. And the oven seller takes that $9,000 and goes and puts it in their bank. This document from the U.S. Department of Defense. This year's is more detailed. China, quote, remains our most consequential strategic competitor for coming decades. And so now you see a competition between these two great powers that have become deeply economically entwined over the last 50 years. I'm not anti-milk. I love milk. No, seriously, we got it. We got to do this. Got milk? Oh. Looks <laughs> great, dude. My full-time job is to do journalism. I sit around and fact check things all day. If I get something wrong, it's a cardinal sin. Joseph Smith. He's someone I know well. He's the author of a worldview that I held for most of my life. Nearly half of Sudan's remaining population is in dire humanitarian need. Sudan is moving towards a civil war. Let me get you up to speed on what's happening here and show you how Sudan's location here near the Suez Canal and the Horn of Africa makes it geopolitically important. These messages were spread and amplified by one social media platform in this country that was just starting to use the internet. Conspiracies and incitements to violence all directed at the country's Muslim minority are just overrunning the platform. So let me show you how the U.S. kept their colony in the Caribbean using brute force, spying, and the abuse of land and people. This is how the U.S. stole Puerto Rico. Yugoslavia, a federation of six countries, is ripping itself apart. Their economy is in ruin, and they are replacing communism with nationalism, the kind that thrives on focusing on ethnic and religious differences, forcibly punching out a government from power. No elections, no process, just power being seized. But I want to show you how the coup has been used by the United States of America as a tool to get what they want on the world stage. Rockets and airstrikes continue to rain down on Israel and Gaza. And this is where we need to zoom out to get a bigger picture look at the rest of this region. How did we get this? A map so detailed to truly unveil Antarctica's mysteries, we needed to venture inside it.
talk about it tomorrow, um, but I just didn't want you to stress tonight. Um, I wanted you to know that things are good. Okay? All right. Look at this happy guy. Look at this happy guy. He was going through his own, he was going through his own little emo emotional roller coaster. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Taryn. And look, we have green. <laughs> I'm at an airport in rural Greenland. It's like in this fjord system near the village of Umanak. All of the cameras and stuff just keep dying because it's so damn cold. It is negative 30 degrees. It's in Greenland. 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 Should I reference Greenland? I should, I'd be like, I was, I just was up here. Like, I, I can't not be like, by the way, like, no. There's one thing Kim Jong-il liked to do. It was to talk about his thoughts on cinema. He wrote an entire book about it, which was kind of the impetus of this entire video, this book. Oh, you should just put this book in front of Johnny. Johnny's walking around and he sees it and he's like, oh, what's this? And he's like, we gotta make a video about this. And that put an idea in the pipeline that would eventually become my North Korean cinema video. This is for the moon landing video. Oh, it's we hired someone with an old timey like radio transatlantic accent to do it instead. Buckle up for this one. In a world on the brink of destruction. We talked to astrophysicists, meteorologists, and NASA historians to better understand the moon landing conspiracy. There's basically no chance of getting a decent shot of the stars in this environment. Former congressman among several people hit with insider trading charges today. Their insider knowledge may help them make the best bets on Wall Street. Congressman Ro Khanna from California. Making bank during financial meltdown. <laughs> God, no! I have children, and if I ever gave them this much milk, I'd feel like a criminal. <laughs> On March 13th, 1962, the Joint Chiefs of Staff put this document in front of the Secretary of Defense for approval from the President. A secret meeting and the memo it produced meant only for the eyes of top British officials. These leaders wanted to remind the world who the global superpower was, and they've been doing it for a long time. Russia may sabotage undersea cables. If you have access to submarine cables, which governments and militaries do, you can scrape through the insulation of this cable, you can splice in another cable, and you can duplicate the signal and hear everything your enemy is saying. These few hundred cables that connect our world contain an unfathomable amount of data, and it would seem impossible that any government agency would be able to spy on it all. Impossible, that is, if we didn't have solid proof that they do. We've been talking to Russian journalists, a lot of them independent, who have moved to YouTube to try to escape censorship. You could be swimming in the ocean one day, minding your own business, and right below you, there could literally be this massive 48,000 ton metal machine with a couple hundred humans aboard, equipped with nuclear warheads that could be launched at a moment's notice. What have we created? I started a new channel with my old Vox colleague, Sam Ellis. It is live now, it is called Search Party. Rival politicians and a new class of ultra-wealthy businessmen called oligarchs were battling for power under a weakening Yeltsin. According to data gathered by ESPN, between 1900 and 1989, the All Blacks won 71% of their tests. If China begins the invasion, its missiles still could destroy Taiwan's planes and ships. I need to show you a video. Pause real quick. Henry Kissinger, one of the most controversial and powerful figures in American politics, is dead. It's unlike any substance on Earth. There's nothing wrong with drinking olive oil. This stuff is so good. Yeah, that gap up here. Get another bag. I gotta tell you something really quick. I have a slightly complicated relationship with breakfast. <laughs> Camera is just covered in cheese. In another study, 92% of the supplements that were tested by scientists were contaminated with bacteria. That was in there. We've been doing this for an hour and a half. Don't kill John. Through Greenland, exploring this massive island. Mostly I've been in the fjords, in these rural communities, hunting for seals and riding on dog sleds. Bet. Like, bet. 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 <laughs> I'm not in touch. I'm not in touch.
here in the office, we actually had some pretty nice heated debates about Joe Rogan. Unbelievably insane. Militants who seized an Israeli-owned tanker over the weekend were likely Somali pirates. This line going up represents the expansion of the piracy industry in Somalia. The worst nuclear reactor accident to date. Today, nuclear power is in decline. And I've been trying to understand why. I ended up in a conversation with my friend Cleo, who makes a show called Huge If True. <gasps> Feels amazing. Yeah. Okay, so that's all I've got, and we will see you all next year. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, my queen. <laughs> Three, two, one, fire! Oh, that worked. That was cute. Yeah. All right. That's all right. Cute. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Guys, okay. really? <laughs> yeah, so I make the music here. <laughs> yeah, I should have been friends. <laughs> God damn. God damn. God damn.